Welcome to the load balancing segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application. In this segment of our series, we will use the VIP feature on the network configuration dialog to configure load balancing. The VIP feature of the OpSource Cloud has many options available to fine-tune load balancing. For this demonstration, we will set up very basic round-robin load balancing. In its basic form, creating a load balancer for a set of servers is a three-step process. First, we map the real server object to the private addresses of the servers we wish to add to the VIP. Second, we create a server farm where we will utilize those real servers. And finally, we map the farm to a VIP. The management GUI will automatically assign a public address from our address pool to the VIP where it will become publicly available. From the management GUI, we pick the network where we wish to add the VIP. On the top right corner of the network container is the gear icon. By clicking it, we get the network configuration dialog box. We click on the VIPs button and are presented with the options for VIP configuration. First, we will create our real servers by highlighting the Real Servers tab if it is not already selected. We enter a name for the server, select the IP address of the actual server we are mapping to, and then choose whether we want the server to be in or out of service. The server status option allows servers to be added to the VIP without traffic being directed to it. Once a real server has been mapped to an IP, that IP is no longer available for mapping to another real server on that network. Click on the plus icon, and then click on OK when prompted, and after a few seconds, the new mapping is populated in the real server's listing. We'll repeat this process for each server we want added to our load balancer. Next, we select the Server Farm tab and click on the blue Add Server Farm link. We give the farm a name, select a predictor, in this case, we want to create a round robin load balancer and choose the first server to be in our new farm. In this instance, we want the VIP to only process traffic on port 80, so we'll click Use Port and enter 80. The last option, Initial Probe, lets us choose a probe to verify the health of the servers on the farm. We will use the default TCP probe, click on Submit, and the farm is created. Our new farm has only one server in it, so let's add the second one. Click on the name of the farm in the farm listing. We see the first server we chose when we created the farm. Click on the blue Add Real Server link and then select the real server to add. In this case, we only have one additional server to add, so we'll choose it. We want to use port 80, and then we'll click on the green plus icon to add it to the farm. After the list refreshes, we see that we now have two servers in our farm. The final step is to assign the server farm to a VIP. Click on the VIPs tab to bring up the VIP options, then click on the blue link Add VIP. Here we will give the VIP a name, keep the default IP address option of Reserve New, and target type will be Server Farm. We'll start with the farm in service. Use a protocol of TCP for our inbound traffic. We want it on port 80, and then pick the farm to assign to the new VIP. Clicking on Submit creates the new VIP, and in the VIPs list, we see the IP address that has been assigned to this farm. This is all that is required for simple load balancing. We next repeat this process to apply load balancing to our middle application tier servers. During the lifetime of our application, we can add additional servers to the network, create real server mappings to them, and then add them to the farm as demand increases. If the need to remove a server from service arises for maintenance or other reasons, simply go to the VIPs page and mark the server out of service. Traffic is immediately taken away from the server, and maintenance may be performed. Again, we have chosen to demonstrate very simple round-robin load balancing. The VIP functionality will also allow you to create sticky type load balancers if your application requires using persistence profiles. Also, health probes that are sensitive to content and other traffic parameters may be created under the Probes tab. Finally, all of these steps we've demonstrated via the management GUI are also available via the OpSource Cloud API, 
which allows for creation of customized and automated management of the VIP features. This concludes the load balancing segment of Building a Multi-Tier Cloud Application.